Assalamu alaikum and welcome to part three of our national invoicing solution. Uh, in this workshop, we're going to have a closer look at the API integration sandbox, which is the second phase of uh, or the second step to prepare you to uh, integrate your solution with Zatka and start sending e invoices. So you have to log in into sandbox.zatka.gov.sa and then we're going to have to navigate to the API integration sandbox tab. Uh, in this tab, we're going to be presented with the uh, releases, the versions, and each version will include what are the changes that happened uh, in that version. Also, you'll have uh, a list of APIs that we have, which are six APIs, along with the description of each API, uh, with the output of that, and then the prerequisite for each API. We're going to have a closer look at those APIs as well. You can also download the user manual, which includes more details on how to use the integration sandbox, as well as the other tools as well. Um, so let's start uh, with the API. So if you go uh, in the, at the top, you'll find the API documentation guidelines. Now the sequence of the API starts from the compliance CSI API, and then the compliance checks, and then the onboarding. And from there, you'll have your devices onboarded. Then you can start issuing a reporting API if you're using uh, or you're issuing a B2C transaction, and then the clearance API if you're issuing B2B transaction. Of course, the production CSID that we have acquired from this step uh, has a, uh, an expiry date, so we have also provided a, a renewal API to uh, renew such, said CSID without having to go through the compliance again. So as we said, the first step is to go to the compliance CSID API. Uh, in this API, uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, enter the CSR information that we have mentioned previously where you are uh, providing information about uh, uh, your organization, the device, uh, uh, and other parameters that are required, uh, that are unique to the device as well. Uh, along with the OTP, uh, in the next workshop, we're going to see where we're getting this OP OTP. Now, since this is a sandbox, which is used for testing only purposes, you can use dummy OTPs to uh, issue this command. So here we have an example of, of how the command would look like and what are the expected uh, outputs that you will get. So for the compliance uh, ID, what you will get is that you'll get uh, two main outputs, which is the binary secret token. This is used as a username and then the secret, which is uh, similar to a password. Now, these two parameters will be used for subsequent uh, uh, API calls to make sure that we're ensuring the sequence of the, uh, of, uh, of the onboarding process. Now, of course, using the uh, the sandbox itself, you can as well try the uh, the the APIs themselves. You can post uh, your uh, your sample uh, requests here, and you can, then you can execute and see what's the result that you are getting. Now, once you call this API and get your uh, binary secret token as well as your secret, uh, we're going to use that for the next API, which is the compliance invoice API. Here, what you need to do is you're going to pass the uh, the, the, the secret ones, the, uh, as we have seen, which is the binary secret token, as well as the secret, which is the password, along with uh, an, the invoice, a test invoice, a sample invoice that you need to pass. Uh, this invoice is a sample invoice just for us to make sure that you are passing or that your solution is able to generate a, a valid invoice. Uh, now, once you run this, of course, this depends on the type of invoice that you're generating, whether it's B2B or B2C, uh, you're going to get a res response that uh, if, if your uh, invoice is valid, then we're going to get a, a pass uh, a response uh, and the status of that, which is like a reported. Now, if, if there is an error, you're going to find what sort of errors that uh, happened. Like, for example, here we have an error in, in this business rule, for example, which is that address building number must contain four digits. So this is a sample error code that we have presenting. Uh, once you resolve that and call it again, we're going to have a, a pass request uh, or a pass response. Here are more examples of, of the error code that you, you might uh, face as well. Of course, all the APIs uh, include at the bottom the schemas that are used. For example, here we have the info module, what sorts of, uh, how does the model look like, the description, and what sort of uh, parameters that include within it. Like here we have the message. Also, we have an error model, uh, a warning module, uh, invoice result model, how it would look like, clearance invoice result module, invoice request, uh, CSR request and then finally the certificate error response. Now, once you pass the compliance checks now and uh, the, now and only then you can 
uh, start issuing the uh, the production CSID. This is the onboarding API. So you have to pass the compliance CSID to get the username and password, which is the uh, secret. And then you need to pass a valid invoice to make sure that your device is generating a compliant XML invoice. Then and only then you'll be able to uh, call this API, which is the onboarding, to onboard your uh, your devices. So basically, you're going to pass the same uh, parameters that you have issued before, and you can get a response, uh, which is again uh, very similar to the one that we have seen before. However, this is uh, this binary secret, security token and secret. These are production ones, not for the compliance. This will be used for any subsequent submission of the uh, invoicing in reporting or clearance mode. Again, very similar to that, you will have the uh, production CSID renewal. And now the difference here is that you're gonna pass it an OTP, uh, which is a renewal OTP, not an onboarding OTP, unlike the one that we have seen in the uh, compliance CSID API. Again, in the next session, in the onboarding uh, session, we're going to see how we're going to generate this OTP. However, to test this, you can use any test OTP for, for simulation. Now, once you have acquired your production CSID, you can use the CSID to start calling the reporting API for B2C transactions and the clearance API for B2B transactions. So if you have a closer look at the uh, reporting API, of course, as we mentioned, you're passing the username and the password that you have acquired from the production CSID call. And then you're gonna pass some uh, some information along with, of course, the invoice itself. Now this call is an actual submission of an invoice. However, since we are in the sandbox, this is a test invoice and you can use it to test out the invoice generated by, uh, by your system. Again, we have very similar uh, output as we have seen before. Uh, if it passed, you're gonna receive a 200 code, which is that it is okay and returned successfully. Uh, if we have also with warning, which is 202, we're going to accept this invoice, however, with some warnings. So these are not, let's say, uh, critical uh, errors. They are uh, warning level of errors. So uh, they, they will be accepted. However, we urge you to fix these warnings as soon as possible because later on they might be uh, not accepted. So make sure that you are capturing these warnings and then resolving them as soon as possible. Of course, we have some multiple uh, 400 errors and then finally the 500 errors, which is a server error. Similarly, we have the uh, clearance API. This is used for uh, B2B. Of course, you're going to uh, also send the username and password that you have generated using the production CSID API call. And then we're going to pass the invoice a very similar fashion. Now, probably one of the uh, main differences that we see here is actually you're going to get uh, the as we mentioned before that we're going to stamp and send you the QR code as part of the response so here you can see that we have cleared the invoice and then this is how the cleared invoice look like which is a stamped invoice uh, so once it is stamped then you will be able to share it with your uh, with your buyers so this is probably the main difference between the B2B and the B2C call of course we have similar uh, uh, error codes as well to 202 as well uh, 300 errors and then 400 errors and 500 errors as well. So this is in a nutshell how to uh, use the sandbox. This is in preparation for the next phase which is the onboarding and we're going to have a closer look at that in the next uh, workshop. Again just as, as a recap, the first API call that you need to call is the compliance CSID. Here we're going to pass the uh, CSR including uh, the information about the device and your uh, organization. From that you're going to get the username and password to be used for the compliance invoice IP, uh, API. This is the uh, second uh, API call that you need to call, uh, passing the username and password and a sample invoice to make sure that you are passing the, uh, uh, the, the compliance checks of, of this invoice. Once you do that then, uh, and once you do that and pass that, then you'll be able to issue a production CSID. This production CSD, CSID is the actual CSID that's going to be used for reporting and clearance your or cl and clearing your uh, your invoices. Uh, as a final remark, of course, all the endpoints are are uh, for each API. You'll find them here. So, for example, in this one, um, you'll find that. Uh, uh, this is the endpoint that you need to uh, uh, to target. Uh, if you go down or up, sorry. So this will be the URL. You'll have the HTTPS and then the, the whole path. And then 
for each method you'll have the uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 post uh, URL so after the port you're gonna have slash invoice slash clearance single this is true for each single uh, API so if you go for the compliance one you'll find the server and then slash compliance to call this API so this is true for all the APIs uh, thank you very much for joining us and in the next session we're gonna have a look at the onboarding which is the production onboarding uh, to onboard your devices using these APIs uh, you so uh, and then uh, and then you'll be able to uh, submit your uh, reporting uh, and clearance uh, uh, invoices thank you very much for joining us